Hey guys, Leyland here. And if you read the title, then you already know what today's video will be. We've got Pokemon Violet's first DLC, The Teal Mask, coming in five days. Technically four, since the release has been announced to be early morning in Japan on the 13th. Which means here in the US, we should be able to play it in the evening on the 12th, which I'll most likely be streaming. However, in today's video, we will of course be showing off all returning Pokemon that have been leaked. So, this isn't including all Pokemon that we already have that became available to us via the Pokemon Home update. It goes without saying, of course, spoiler warning. If you wish to keep things a mystery, click away from the video now. Alright, if you're still here, here's the leaked roster of the Pokemon making a return in the Teal Mask. Please note, this is not including any new Pokemon. Alright, first up we have the Ekans line. Next up, we have the Clefairy line. We already had Jigglypuff with its Paradox form, so honestly, who knows if we'll be able to see a new one for them as well. Next up is Vulpix. Although we might be seeing the Alolan form in Part 2 in the Indigo Desk, we have already seen other Alolan form Pokemon in the recent trailers. Next up is the Oddish line. And then we have the Poliwag line. Up next is the Hitmon line. Next up is my favorite part, because we do in fact get Snorlax's line back. Fun fact, this is the first game ever in the mainline series where Snorlax is not obtainable in the base game. I am so glad that they didn't skip it entirely, because I finally can have my giant cuddly mon. Next up is Sentret line. After that is the Hoot Hoot line. Next up is the Spinarak line. Next we have Ambipom. Yanma, which honestly, I love its evolution. Gliscor line is next. Next up, we have the Swine Up line. It's already been confirmed, of course, but the Poochiana line is making a return. We've got the Dot line. Another Crab is coming with the Corfish line. We already have Magikarp, so up next we are getting Feebas line back. Up next we have the Goosely Ghouls, the Duskull line. Chimeco line is up next. Now, with these next ones, I'm not sure if the leaks are true, but I am putting them here because sites like Serebi and Bulbapedia are reporting them as well. So, we are getting Generation 4 starters possibly similar to the previous installments like X and Y, where the professor gave us Kanto starters after we beat the initial game. That includes the Turd Twig line, the Chimchar line, and of course, the Piplub line. They are all returning, which probably means that all the other starters will be coming in part two, the Indigo Disc. It was already confirmed, of course, that Shaman is making a return from this screenshot. Up next is the Timber line. Up next is probably my favorite ghostly inanimate object Pokemon, the Litwick line. The Volibean line is next. My other favorite ghostly Pokemon, the Phantup line. I love the green and the nature. Up next, we have the Grubbin line, and really, I love its shiny in its final evolution. Next up is the pseudo-legendary jengmo o line. And last, but certainly not least, we have Camarant. So, there you have it, guys. That is all the known Pokemon making a return to the upcoming Teal Mask DLC. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. Let me know who you are most excited to see return in this DLC. And I will catch you in the next one, where we see who is returning in part 2, the Indigo Desk. Have a good one, guys. Later!